Reverse osmosis is a process through which seawater is abstracted and treated so that it is made potable. In fact, in 2018, the Water Services Corporation produced 33.8 billion litres of potable water, out of which 19.3 billion litres was abstracted and desalinated water. But this has to improve, because our water consumption does leave an environmental footprint. Reverse osmosis consumes electricity, which obviously contributes to emissions. Though the technology is constantly improving and becoming increasingly sustainable, in fact, the three Water Services Corporation desalination plants alone account for 3% of Malta's energy consumption. On a good note, this is much lower than it was, say, 10 years ago. Thanks to the heavy investment by the Water Services Corporation over the years in optimizing and upgrading technologies, the energy footprint of household water needs has now become lower than, say, the consumption of a fridge. Reverse osmosis is necessary because our natural water resources alone can't keep up with our demand in a sustainable manner. So we have to keep using this water, but use it wisely. It's not only about conserving water, but also about reducing energy emissions. A gentle reminder, our reverse osmosis water comes from the sea, so it's important that we take care of our marine water environment too. The quality of the seawater abstracted for treatment really depends on the quality of our surrounding shores. Take care of them. You see, everything's related. The Water Services Corporation is also making notable efforts in upgrading our water distribution network and is committed to reducing leaks and tackling them as quickly and efficiently as possible. Back to reverse osmosis, or ROs, specifically home ROs. If you're considering installing one, here are a couple of things to keep in mind. First off, check if you actually need an RO. Get your tap water quality tested for salinity, because that is exactly what an RO tackles and you might not need one. Home ROs generate a significant amount of reject water. Once your tap water is run through the RO system, a large part of it is thrown away, down the drain. Please ensure that your reject water is redirected for secondary uses, such as into your well, or for watering your garden, after blending it with your mains water or weld water. If the issue with your water is chlorine, then there are other technologies and filters that can be used. These are cheaper, consume less energy and waste less water. A small amount of chlorine in tap water is essential to ensure that it is as bacteria-free as possible and has no impact on your health. Your tap water is potable and we are working towards making it less hard and better tasting through the Net Zero Impact Utility Project. So watch this space. Here's another way that you can help. Many houses in Malta and Gozo have water systems. Some are in use, but quite a few aren't. Using your home water system for secondary uses like toilet flushing, for example, will reduce the pressure on our national systems and save you money too. So as you can see, besides making the little changes to our everyday lives that will help reduce our necessary consumption of water and energy, we are constantly looking at ways to reduce the pressure on our natural and man-made resources. For more information, visit water.org.nt. Water. Be the change. This project is part financed by the European Union under the Cohesion Fund, European Structural and Investment Funds 2014-2020.